And before we get back into the next game, these are your DHL pro tips. The higher and higher rank you get in Dota, the more important warding becomes. Subsequently, the more cores will complain that their supports suck at warding. And that's because wards are totally invisible to the naked eye, and they give you crucial information about the enemy team that they don't know you're receiving, which can be insanely powerful. In side lanes, it's important to see when the enemy core and support are split up, because then you can choose to kill either one of them, or stop the enemy support from pulling. So there are two varieties of ward that you can use. You can place one in the jungle, scouting the support's position, or one in the lane, scouting the core's position. A really solid bait and switch play you can make to ensure your precious ward does not get dewarded is to block the enemy's most prized neutral camp with a sentry ward, then place an observer ward scouting the same area but far away from that sentry. What will happen is that the enemy support will see that the camp is blocked and dewarded, ignoring your ward entirely, giving them a false sense of security. As the game progresses past the laning stage, there are two game states that you can be in. Your team is farming, or your team is pushing objectives. If you're content with farming, then you want to place wards in front of whatever objective the enemy team is likely to attempt to take next, so that you can make an informed decision about how to defend that objective. It's also worth having a deep ward or two scouting whatever area your team is farming in, so that they know they're safe hitting jungle camps. If your team is looking to fight and push objectives, then you want to place both ward and a sentry near that objective, preferring to place on high grounds and behind towers if possible. As of the 7.29 patch, sentry ward range is smaller, and so the meta has become to place the observer wards on high grounds only if you're capable of defending that ward or don't care if it gets dewarded. Otherwise, place wards just out of sentry range for high grounds to guarantee you'll never get dewarded. Probably the most useful dewarding trick you can know is standing in fog and checking to see if towers hit you where they shouldn't see you, like behind a tree. If they hit you, there's a ward spotting you, and you can deward it for golden experience. If they don't, then you're scot-free. Tier 1 towers even have less night vision than you have attack range, so you can hold alt and walk a bit into their attack range to check if they hit you. Once again, if they hit you, you know there's a ward. Too bad no one on your team planned ahead and bought a sentry, or this tip would be really useful.